question for y'all. Where were you on January 14th, 1969? Well, I have a guess. If you were alive in 1969, chances are on January 14th, you were sitting in front of your black and white TV watching the Red Skeleton show. Now, Red Skeleton is a very interesting character, and, and, and yes, I was alive in 69. Uh, watching his shows in the evening, you know, once a week. And Red was a, an incredible patriot and a strong Christian man. He ended every one of his shows with good night and God bless. You guys can remember that. Well, on January 14th, Red ended his show with something just slightly different. It was a recollection that he had had uh, when he was a young lad back in school. I don't have any idea what year that would have been, but it was prior to 69. Anyway, this is kind of the way his uh, little talk went. When I was a small boy in Vincennes, Indiana, I heard, I think, one of the most outstanding speeches I have ever heard in my life. I think it compares with the Sermon on the Mount, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address, Socrates' speech to the students. You see, we had just finished reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And the schoolmaster, the, the principal, the superintendent, walked into our classroom and he called all of us youngsters together. And he says, oh, boys and girls, I have been listening to you recite the Pledge of Allegiance all semester. And it seems to me that it has become monotonous to you. Or could it be, could it be that you do not understand the meaning of each word? If I may, I would like to recite the Pledge and give you give you the definition for each word. I, me, an individual, a committee of one, pledge, dedicate all of my worldly goods to give without self-pity, allegiance, my love and devotion, to the flag, our standard, oh glory, a symbol of courage, and wherever she waves, there is respect, because your loyalty has given her a dignity that shouts freedom, it's everybody's job, of the united, that means we have all come together, states. Individual communities that have united into the 48 great states. 48 individual communities with pride and dignity and purpose. All divided by imaginary boundaries, yet united to a common cause. And that's love of country, of America. And to the republic, a republic, a sovereign state, which power is invested into the representatives chosen by the people to govern. And the government is the people. And it's from the people to the leaders, not from the leaders to the people. For which it stands one nation. Meaning, so blessed by God. Indivisible. Incapable of being divided with liberty, which is freedom, the right of power for one to live his own life without fears, threats, or any sort of retaliation, and justice, the principles and qualities of dealing fairly with others, for all, for all, that means boys and girls, it's as much your country as it is mine. Now, 
In a few minutes, you'll have an opportunity to say, to stand up with me, put your hand over your heart, and say the pledge. And when that opportunity comes, I challenge you to stand up proudly and straight and recite the Pledge of Allegiance as though you mean it, as though you are a citizen of this great nation and that you are proud of it. Now since, since Red was a small boy, two states have been added to our country. Two states and two words to our pledge. Under God. Now wouldn't it be a pity? Wouldn't it be a pity if somebody said that this is now a prayer and that it would be eliminated from our schools also? Thank you. Thank you. 